we would like to invite one of our patients, uh, Coach Richard Humphrey, to come and share his experience with you all and with us. If you would please, Coach. Does it work or do I need it? Okay. Like you said, my name is Richard Humphreys. Probably most of y'all in this room have heard of me. If you unfortunately have seen me, I'm not as pretty as I sound, probably, you know, that kind of deal. But uh, I have a secondary progressive MS. And one of the questions I can always remember not too long ago when I was first met uh, Dr. Reardon and we were talking and I said, well, what if I came back for a second treatment? And it was after the first one. And I said, could I possibly go from secondary progressive back to relapsing remitting? And I always remember his comments that, well, there's never been anything written on that. Well, I'm probably, I'm not saying that that necessarily might be the case. I don't have it. I don't have that secondary progressive because every day I can go play golf and every day I can go mow the yard instead of walking to the bathroom with a cane or crawling to the bathroom. And that was my whole day. That's all there was. There was nothing else. Nothing else existed. And so another little deal, when we first got to Costa Rica and we're sitting down, uh, there's a, another guy and I went, and here were three medical doctors in the foyer and we're talking to them. Now, how many times does that happen in the United States? Uh, zero. So, and Roger and Nasera was one of them. And we were sitting here talking for a little bit and in comes this, you know, rather large man comes in. I'm thinking, now he is either the president of this clinic or he's the window washer. And I couldn't differentiate between the two until he walked into the big office. And I'm thinking, well, again, is he going to wash the windows or is he going to, you know, come back out? So anyway, it, it happened to be Dr. Dr. Reardon and he came back and he sat down and we all started talking. And his story is a little bit different from mine on what happened, how the adipose treatment came along. But, it, it, but it, this is the truth of what happened. And we were sitting there for a moment and I said, you know, that we're here to get a, a longer treatment or anything that you can think of, we're available to take it. And, you know, I, I call him Neil or bro, you know, because I'm from Louisiana. So, so bro goes, well, that's something we thought about. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, that is not really an answer. So then after another minute or two, and of course, his, at the whole time, he's, he's the brain of all this anyway. His mind is just cooking. So I asked again, I said, well, you, if there's, an, again, more in depth or longer period of time, you know, we're available for a longer treatment. And he goes, yeah, there's something we thought about for a year. That was it, nothing. Again, that is not you know, the full answer. And I said, you know what? The only thing stopping you is you. And boy, then Dr. Nasser and Neil and two others, they huddled together for about five minutes. And I'll always remember this because we didn't know if we were going to Costa Rica for a scam or if it was the real deal. In about five minutes, Roger stood right up and says, I just don't see how this can't work. And let me tell you, I was one MS patient saying, we are at the right place. We are here. I mean, there's nothing like it. I, you know, I want my doctor to have a little confidence and be, you know, like that. And he stood, I don't see how it can't work. I almost beat my pants. And to this day, and that's really how the adipose treatment started. Of course, Neil kept thinking, they kept doing it, and, and of course now we see all the benefits that have you know, come about with it. I've had several treatments, and it has just been miraculous for me to go from basically bedridden to, you know, yesterday I took them to play golf. And, and Dr. Paz and, you know, and, and Neil, they're the ones getting tired. And, you know, I'm still playing right along and I'm thinking, wait, hold it, hold it. Y'all are the doctors that are doing this and I'm the patient over here and I'm not having any trouble. We had to, get, we had to go down the ravine, you know, to go, Neil and I both had hit some shots down there. And his comment, well, I ain't going down there. I can't do it. Well, my knee works great. It would, yeah, I'll go on down there and get it. So, you know, to make a long story short, and there's a lot of things, I, I am truly a patient. I do not work for the Stem Cell Institute. You know who I work for, in my opinion? I work for y'all. Because I've seen so many patients, and I've talked to so many of y'all, from Jason Upshaw right at the very beginning, 
And, you know, I can always remember the first time coming back from Costa Rica and sitting right in front of you, and you were just like, and y'all said immediately, we're going. And it made a major difference, a major impact. I am nothing but a pure patient, but I'm also an advocacy for you because I am 100% evidence of what can happen. And instead of me and my wife and had already, already talked about it, I would be in a wheelchair. And then we had discussed, because my training is I'm a nursing home administrator, I would be in a nursing home right now instead of playing golf and teaching golf. My love that I've had all my life. In fact, this morning I got up, went and gave, you, gave, gave a lady a golf lesson ran to the house, got cleaned up, and beat it here. Now, does that sound like somebody that's secondary progressive MS? <laughs>